Hello, um, and thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to give a quick, like, thousand-foot view of item response theory. In general, item response theory is how we relate underlying constructs, such as math ability, your depression, anxiety, social desirability, all of these different types of constructs, if I can spell constructs, and we relate them to different types of items. So for example, if we're looking at happiness, what are some of the ways that we can tell that someone is happy? So we have like an underlying happiness that we're trying to measure. And in general, we can look at, well, what are some of the indicators or items that we can use to tell if someone's happy? Well, are they smiling? That might be one. Well, you know, are they laughing? I unfortunately do not know how to do a good uh, smiley face for laughing, but you get the idea. Laughing and maybe what are some other, we can think of other ways to relate um, to measure someone's happiness based on their characteristics or observable behaviors. So then we root then item response theory is a method we use to relate those contra or those items back to happiness. We can use what this fancy diagram is to relate that. And so we can use each of these indicators as a measure of happiness. And we do that by using what is called an item If I can spell again, item, it spells with an E, item characteristic. Curve. And so an item characteristic curve is this bivariate plot that takes your level of happiness and relates it to what is your expected score on an item. And typically when your responses only have two possible values, whether you're, you're either not smiling or you are, you're either not laughing or you are laughing, we can then relate that instead of an expected value, that is just equivalent to a probability. And it is the item characteristic curve allows us to relate your happiness to the likelihood of a given response, the probability that your response is one, which is even more generally just the expected value of a dichotomous item. And so then we can say that if you're very low on happiness, well, you're, the probability that you're smiling is really low. So you have basically zero likelihood. But maybe as we get higher, that likelihood might go up. But if you're really high on happiness, the probability that you're uh, smiling or laughing is probably really high. You think of something up here. And item response theory is really about creating this relationship between the happiness level and the expected item response or item characteristic that we're looking at. And so being able to have a mathematical way in a conceptual way of relating a construct that we're interested in to observable characteristics is the kind of fundamental principle of item response theory. And of course, there's many um, advancements that we can take from uh, this, this relatively simple idea of looking at probabilities and expected item responses um, to then expand upon our characteristics of different types of items or different types of response processes. But in general, 
item response theory is this basic principle and foundation for relating the construct that we're trying to measure to characteristics that we can observe in some relatively simple way. And thank you uh, for joining this very high level introduction to item response theory and kind of measurement principles in general. Please let me know if you have questions and I am excited to create some more relatively simple short and short, hopefully short videos to introduce us to different types of models and methods within item response theory. So we can dig into how can we really expand upon this idea of an item characteristic curve to give us more information, not only about happiness, but to evaluate individual items as well. So again, thank you for joining me and I uh, look forward to making some more videos and talking with some of you as well.